back I'm doing the basic algorithm scripting on FreeCode Camp, and today we're doing slice and splice um, so if you are sort of aware of JavaScript we have two pre-built methods slice and splice um, definitely recommend to check those out and sort of see the differences between them um, but in this example um, I'll just run through sort of what they want us to do and then actually it's the last line here which will make it obvious as to which method um, I'm going to be using so we are going to be given two arrays and an index. So this example here, we've got two number arrays and then an index here of one. And then begin inserting the elements at in index um, of the second array. Um, and then return the resulting array. And what we can see here is that the input array should remain the same after the function runs. Um, so in this instance, we'll actually be using slice because essentially it doesn't mutate the original array. Um, or a splice does and it's sort of one of the differences between the two um, but yeah so let me just close that off and open up um, sort of a fresh function body and essentially what it's asking us to do is we're starting with array 2 um, and then after the index whatever this number is so at position 1 which would be between 4 and 5 so right 0 1 2 um, so at 1 we then are basically just putting in this array um, and then returning the rest of array 2. So we're sort of just slicing in array 1 into array 2 at whatever position is provided. Um, so just in this example, we'll start with 4, um, then we would do 1, 2, 3, and then 5 and 6, um, like so. And if I just comment, add a comment there, um, you can see that's what we're expecting. And if I just bring this over a little bit, um, we can see there. And just the other example, um, I'll bring that in over here and if I log that out what we're expecting here and actually they've given it to us as what it should return so I'll just paste that so we can see we've got head shoulders and then position two so that would be here we then add claw tentacle and then we go back to knees and toes to finish off array two so that's array two to start um, and then at this position we add in array one and then we finish off whatever remaining items there are um, so, as I said, for this, because we want to keep the input arrays sort of as they were um, and not mutate them, we will use the slice method. Um, so let me just do let new array equal an empty array to begin with. And then we'll just return that um, to begin with there. So in between there, here's what we'll sort of add in everything. So we'll do a new array and then to add to this, we'll push. So dot push. And to begin with, um, because these are arrays sort of inside, I guess, themselves, um, well, or we're, at, we're pushing them to another array, we actually want to spread out um, that. So we'll do the, the three dots here, and then we'll do array two, because that's what we're starting with, dot slice. And we're slicing from the zero, so the first index, so here, up until the number, right, so n. Um, in this instance, it's one, so it will just bring in four. And if I... Um, Hit enter and log that. Um, just need to console.log and just wrap that around this. We should see the number four being output to the console. Um, like so, here we are. So there's number four. So that is our first slice. Um, so obviously after that, and I can just do a comma to separate these out, we then want to sort of put in array one, right? So if I do that, we can see now we've got our one, two, three. And if I don't put these three dots to spread it out, you'll see here um, that it includes the array itself. So it's sort of nesting the arrays here, which we don't want. So we want to spread it out like so. And then, yeah, just to finish it off, we'll do, again, the spread operator, array two, and we'll slice. And then again, we want to go from position n um, onwards. So if we just pass in one parameter, um, what that will do is slice um, from the from one and then just obviously return the rest. So here we've got five and six and we can see that is the output So it's quite a nice one-liner here um, Again, yeah, that will pass all the tests hopefully and should go through and there we go We can see that's complete, but yeah shout if you um, sort of have any questions Let me know in the comments below um, and if again you have a simpler method um, or even faster I'd be really interested to see it um, That's the best I could come up with certainly for this challenge and yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.